clearly self-tanned last night. Um, haven't washed that off, so don't mind that. Good morning, everyone. I'm back in Dallas. I have been traveling nonstop, really busy the past few weeks, have my celery juice, and I really wanted to make it a priority when I got home to get back into like cooking a lot from home. One, it's my favorite time of the year to cook, so I love cooking in the fall. And two, I've just been feeling so sluggish, and yes, I've been really busy, but I just know it's because I'm not eating well. I'm just like not taking care of myself. Even before this, I wasn't on like my consistent workout routine, and I'm just all over the place, and I have no one to question besides myself. I have the answers. So anyways, we're getting back into a healthy routine, if you will. I have my hot lemon water and my celery juice in the morning. That's like one healthy habit that I actually really like and I've used over the years. My mom's really into it. I just want to get back to cooking a lot from home because that always makes me feel so much better in every way, shape, and form. And just like random healthy habits in the morning. I actually really like celery juice, unpopular opinion. So today we're getting back into a healthy routine. Um, Dana's working today, so she'll be back here. Mackenzie Jones is coming to drop off my art which I am so excited about. She is an artist. She reached out to me on Instagram and was like, I would love to make you something. And I was like, I will literally die for this because I'm obsessed with you. Um, so I'll have her down below. Just to the Bostick stuff, she's done um, Emma's, I think like two years ago. I'm pretty sure that's how Lauren found her. She's also in Texas. So anyways, we're gonna talk to her. It's gonna replace this piece up there. And then I'm actually gonna give that piece to Jess because she needs art and I didn't really even use it that much for that long. So. It takes me so freaking long to finish my hot lemon water. But actually when I was in Malibu at the retreat, we did this journaling workshop, which honestly was like the highlight of the trip. It was so good. I can't even describe how good it was. Just trust me. So anyways, I'm gonna start journaling more. I go through phases with it. I used to be really, really consistent, but it is so therapeutic. Like, oh my God, I feel like Margot. I've changed, it is beautiful in here. The light is hitting and it's just, wow. My vacuum is going. Coco is now friends with the vacuum, I guess. She used to hate it in our wall. It's a vacuum and moth, the best thing ever, okay? I worked with them a while ago, but literally, it's honestly probably my favorite job I've ever done because I use it every single day. Just changed. Daily drills, pink, Adidas. Going to do 12 3 30. Just a light little workout this morning because I have a lot of things to do. That's all I can squeeze in. We're gonna try get super instant coffee plus hemp extract. I had the founder Whitney on the podcast and I haven't been able to try it yet, but it's basically CBD coffee, which I know kind of sounds counterintuitive, but it's not. It just is coffee without giving you anxiety, um, which sounds really good to me. So I don't know. I, this is supposed to be eight ounces. And I didn't measure it. So if I mess it up, it's not their fault. Go. Sorry, coffee's not for you. She said that it's like water soluble, so you don't even have to like mix it. Mix it. Like, oh, whoa. Dana's here, guys. I'm not talking to myself. I didn't even realize you were recording. I don't know how I'm recording. See? Good. You know what? I always, I, I, I've said it before and I'll say it again. I'm the exact same on camera as I am off. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay. So like this might be more than eight ounces. She says that like as you work up to it with it, then you would just do two for 12 ounces. But I feel like we both could have just done two for 12 because we just serve black coffee drinkers anyways. You know, better than everyone. Guys, get your I love you so much merch, link below. We have mugs, we have really cute clothes. Check it out. We're hard at work. Oh my God. Look at this angel, Coco. <gasps> You look stunning. Oh my god, wait, check the phone. It smells good. Ready? Okay, I feel like it definitely tastes different with like the CBD. Like a buttery, like. No, that's what I was thinking. It's like yeah. oily almost. Yeah. Which makes sense. I put hazelnut um, nut pods in. I love hazelnut creamer. But, anyways, I like it. It's oily almost in the way of if you guys have ever had like MCT oil in your coffee. That's kind of what it reminds me of, but I've become a nut pods girl again, so here we go. Love this for me, everyone. Go get your mugs, so cute. Here's the before. Guys, this is so exciting. Mackenzie is here. We've been fixing the well by we I mean she's done it. She I mean what can't she do? They're about to bring the piece up. 
So Mackenzie is an artist. She does like textured art. I'll put her Instagram on the screen, but like it is actually unbelievable. She did stuff for Julian Hunter too. I just realized that. I think that's actually how we got connected. But we met up, um, I think like two months ago probably. She like designed this piece for me and it's bringing a little bit more color into the house, which is exciting. It's something I like wanted to do. She is so talented. I'll have her stuff linked down below. Definitely hire her. Like she's unbelievable. I am just so excited. I am so excited. Oh my gosh. It looks so good. Oh my God. It is so beautiful. Wow. And then yeah, you'll leave. Oh my god. Yeah, more. It is beautiful. <gasps> oh, oh my god. Cute. It looks so yeah. good. Like, I'm gonna go Oh my god. Guys, you have to see the detail. This is really what makes it. I mean, that's just everything. Hi, I'm Mackenzie. I'm a sustainable artist. And what I do is I use discarded cardboard and I use a paste that I created to cover the cardboard and it hardens and becomes my paintable surface. And I work one-on-one -on -one with clients. Every single piece that I do is custom artwork. I think it's so important for people to be emotionally moved by art and to experience that. And I love to be able to facilitate that and for people to feel seen through their work. So that is exactly what I did for Kenzie. I'm like emotionally moved. You can go to hell. I'm going to Texas. I'm such a caring person. Yes. You know, I'm just yes. so nice. Um, yeah, this is amazing. Okay, do you want to give like a backstory on like, how you got into art? Yeah, so I was a sophomore in college when I started painting as a form of therapy. I was like rock uh, bottom to say the least and it was just a way that I could express myself and not think. And so for the first year to two years, I just painted for myself and then it grew into something that I was like, I don't want to lose this when I graduate. Um, so I was like, okay, I'm going to give myself till I graduate college to really take this off as a career. And if I do it, great. If I don't, I don't. And sure enough, I graduated in May and here we are. We're still doing it. Still yeah. my full-time job. And I absolutely am obsessed with it every day. It's really incredible. She's so good. Like I would have shown your Instagram at this point, but like amazing okay so where can they find you and like shop i don't know if you want to talk about these yeah yeah yeah, yeah. so um all of my socials are by underscore mckenzie um i'm also hopefully going to be starting a youtube channel soon Yay. so stay tuned for that um and then my website is by mckenzie.com i have like one or two pieces that i'll do for fun that are for public sale um but for the most part i just do custom one-of-a-kind art and then I also have a fun little side project going on right now that is custom. It's a rare base collection and I hand painted all of them. So they'll be releasing in a week or two. So stay tuned for that as well. There, I use repur I repurpose bases and I use the same paste that I use on my cardboard for my paintable surface. I recover vases like that. So even the vases themselves are sustainable in the way that they are, but then they have this like cool stone texture to them now and then they're hand painted. So I'll have everything linked below. Thank you so much. It's actually everything of the sort. It is my absolute dream. Like it's so cool. It is beautiful, perfect, stunning. This is really a dream. Here are the vases by the way, or like an example. Look at this stunning piece that she brought me. Guys, Mackenzie just left, but this is just a dream. It's perfect. I needed to add some color into the house. I'm obsessed. She also surprised me with this, as you guys saw. Um, carrots, broccoli, salmon from Sprouts. It looks incredible. Um, I might even do kombucha, but also update on this water bottle. I use it 24 seven. It's either this or my hydro jug. Love. Dana and I have been working. I got bone broth. I went to Sprouts yesterday. It was my first thing that I did after I went out when I got home. And it was just really incredible. I'm back on my bone broth game. This is like one of my favorite things. Oh my God, how am I supposed to 
I haven't tried this one. I normally have one from either, well, the one that I drink normally is from the farmer's market. So here we go. But I feel like if I'm microwaving my bone broth, like does that take away all the nutritional value? Anyways, I literally just drink it like out of a mug. It's so good. When it gets really cold, oh my God, I can't wait for the cold weather. It was chilly last night when I was doing my nice night routine. And it just took me back to my fall nights last year, which we're so good. It's been a very productive day. I need to go get a Hydra facial, actually. We've been sitting here planning, brainstorming, doing scheduling stuff, whatever. I'm gonna go get a Hydra facial, and then I actually am guesting on a podcast when I get back. I've been wearing jeans, so I need to change into leggings or joggers or something. I'm going to a new place to get a Hydra facial, so I'll let you guys know how I like it. I'm sharing it on Instagram stories. I just like need to be comfortable. That is my problem cons like constantly in life. Are these leggings? Perfect. Here's my new comfy look. I feel like I'm in pajamas. It's kind of fabulous. All right, I'm taking a break to get a hydrofacial. Um, I got offered this, so of course I was like, yeah, I will come in and get one. I just need something. My skin has been breaking out. Honestly, it's probably been the worst it's ever been in the past like month or so, which is kind of weird, but also I've just been traveling and I just need one. So I'm off to do that. Um, and then when I get home, I only have one more like real work thing. I'm gonna have more that I could do. But I think I'm gonna do the podcast recording and then cook dinner. I really wanna make chili. I got this new, I got a bunch of stuff for a new recipe I wanna try. So I think that's the plan. Maybe watch the morning toast as I cook. Like, oh my God, my fall nights are just the best. If you guys ever wonder like where I go for like med spas and places like Botox, things like that in Dallas, I have an entire highlight on my Instagram and that's where I keep the codes and links too. Guys. The instant results that I'm getting from this hydrofacial, ignore the redness, my skin is glowing. Like, I left, oh my gosh, I'm never gonna get over this. That was the best decision I've ever made. I cannot believe I haven't been doing these. I mean, like, I wanna do these every single month. Your skin just glows. Wow. Just rushed back home for this podcast recording. Cannot get over my skin. Like, if the camera doesn't do it justice in person, though, Wow. I have the morning toast on. I'm finally done with my day. I am making this recipe from Half Baked Harvest. It's the herb and chickpea stew with rice. I'm gathering my ingredients here. I'm onto my second butter booch of the day. This is my favorite kombucha. And I always find myself, I had one earlier today, but I normally just drink these as I'm cooking um, to kind of give me that wine effect, even though there's no alcohol in here. But I mean like the actual routine of having a glass of something. I'm not. Guys, I'm in bed, I have my Kindle, I'm going to read, I showered, I feel so clean. I love my routines, like I really have just missed them. I'm excited to get back in like a healthy, nice routine. Healthy for me basically just to be taking care of myself. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I'm so excited about my art piece. So I'll have Mackenzie's um, Instagram linked down below. What is she doing? I love you guys so much and I will see you soon, bye. I don't yeah. know when I got so lucky, but I did. Yeah, you so did. So here I am. And it's just because we love you. So like, we're just kind of I know. I'm really like living my best life. She um, texted me and asked me for my Goodreads. <laughs> she, she did. I feel like yours, you like keep up with yours.